today we're going to learn how to sharpen with the moving the stone and the stationary instrument technique. And we're going to start with our sickles. And this is the H5 and the 33. And the idea with, with all the sickles is going to be the same. We start with the stone at 90 degrees to the cutting edge of the um, instrument and I'm holding the instrument in my left hand kind of in a uh, palm grasp and my stone I'm holding like so you can hold it like this that's a little uncomfortable for me so I tend to hold it like this and so you place the stone at 90 degrees to the blade of the instrument and then you just open slightly so that you achieve 110 degrees and you want to divide the instrument blade into thirds so you have the back third the middle third and the, the toe or terminal third so I usually start at the very back and I'm going to up and down until I hear a high-pitched noise or I see sludge on the instrument and then I move to the middle. So I start at 90, open slightly to 110. And then to the terminal third, start at 90 and open to 110. So this is a double-sided instrument. So I'm going to turn it. And then notice I had the the toe toward me and now I'm going to turn it with the toe away and now I'm going to have to hold it down so I can see over it. I'm going to start at the back, start at 90, open to 110 and you just do as many strokes. Here that I high pitch so that's sharp and then go to the middle 90, 110. It's just a slight movement to get to 110 and then the anterior or the terminal third, 90. Hear that high pitched? So that's sharp. And you always want to finish with the downstroke. And then you're gonna, you can see the sludge on the instrument. Okay, just wipe it off. And I'm starting with sterile instruments. Should have said that. So to do the opposite side, and I've oiled my, my stone with just some engine oil using the Arkansas oil stone. So again, I started at 90 and then I open to 110 and just sharpening until I get sludge. And finish with the down. Now I'm gonna turn it, do the other blade. And the other uh, clue that you're getting close to sharpen, or you are, is on your stone, you will start to see um, black marks on the stone. And that means that metal shavings have been removed from the cutting edge of the instrument. So that was the H533. We're gonna move to the H6H7. It too is a uh, double-bladed, double-ended, or paired-ended instrument. So the same thing, I'm going to start at the, the back end. Now I have my toe toward me, close, open, middle, and finish with the down stroke. I have sludge. So now I'm going to turn away and look, hold it down so I can look down over the instrument. And I'm keeping my fingers out of the way. Also of note, the instruments are 
sterilized before I started sharpening them. So I flipped ends and I'm going to do the other side. So I started at 90, then opened to 110. want to make sure that the lower third of the shank is perpendicular or parallel to your stone so your handle now is going to be flared out one way or the other so we've got double blades and double ends so we're going to have to do all four so we're going to start here 90 and then 100 starting at the back 90 100 110 finishing with the down and I have sludge so now I'm going to turn my toe in the opposite direction and I'm going to bend my handle away from me so that my lower third of the shank is perpendicular to the floor or parallel to my stone 90 110 from the back to the terminal third. Now I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to look for the lower third of the shank. I've got my toe toward me. 90, your instrument is, there we go, the longer it's going to take you to sharpen. So a rule of thumb is the more frequently that you sharpen, the less of the instrument you have to sharpen at one time. Now I have the Nevi 2, which is another um, posterior instrument, same thing. You want to look for the lower third of the shank, so that means your handle is going to be tilted away from you. I've got my toe toward me. Start at the back, 90, 110. 90, 110. And the sharper that your instrument is when you start to sharpen it, the quicker you will achieve sludge on your blade. I'm going to turn it away now. 90, and you want to make sure you have good light. You can always use your uh, patient light if you need to. So now I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the other side. 90, 